This lesson explains shell variables and environment variables and shows you how to create them. The difference between the two is quite simple really. A shell variable is a name defined inside your shell and the shell keeps it to itself and uses it for its own processing. An environment variable is a name defined inside your shell but the name is copied and passed to the environment of any program that's run from the shell. That's the only difference. One is passed on, the other is not. So there's a tendency toward laziness and confusion and both of these are generally referred to as environment variables. The difference is subtle and I have a tendency to lump them all together myself. To show you how this works, I have written a simple C program that will display the definition of an environment variable. It's a short program and won't scroll off the screen so it can be displayed by using the cat command like this. All it does is take each name from the command line, use get env to look it up in the environment, and display its defined value, if it has one. For example, it can show you the definition of the shell and path variables. But it won't show you the value of the ps1 variable, because its setting is not passed on to the processes executed by the shell. Now, to define a variable, all you have to do is name it and its value this way. Now, to look at it with the program. But it doesn't show up. That means it's a shell variable, not an environment variable. To change it to an environment variable, all you have to do is export it, like this. If you prefer, you can export it as you define it in a single statement. For example, and that's all there is to it. But as you'll be seeing in the next few lessons, shell and environment variables are very handy things to have and they're used a lot in the Linux system. Let me show you another couple of commands. To get a complete list of the variables that have been set in your shell, you can use the set command like this. As you can see, there are lots of them and they scroll off the screen. If you want to look through all of them, then you can pipe the output of set through more. Each time you hit the space bar, you get a new screen full. The set command lists both the shell variables and the environment variables, everything that's set inside your shell. Another command, env, lists only the environment variables, the ones that have been exported. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you how all of these variables got set in the first place.